<clears throat> Hi, I'm Pontus from Dead by April. You're watching Bring the Noise. This is Ian Arnold at BringTheNoise.com. Uh, here with Dead by April. How was the How was the show tonight? The show was awesome. To see all these uh, dedicated fans and knew the lyrics and were singing along, it was it was crazy. How was it compared to? Cause you've been on the Skindred tour. Yeah, it more, was more intimate here compared to a bigger venue. How did that go for you? Yeah, it was very different, but in a good way uh, because. Of course, we have had uh, some of our fans on the Skindred dates as well, yeah. <clears throat> but this this is much better, much much better. You know, it's as you said, it's more intimate, and we have a more <coughs> real connection with our fans. So, being as as a band, would you say you prefer the smaller shows, or do you like getting out there to big arena? <coughs> well, um, it's kind of I like them both. Uh, they are very different, but I have a lot of love for both uh, yeah. uh, because these are intimate and you can interact in another way with the <coughs> with the crowd they are so so near you and you can yeah. like touch them um, and uh, of course the bigger venues the the festival kind of arenas yeah. are awesome as well to see like 20,000 people just banging their heads that's some feeling as well when, when you're at a festival how does it make you feel inside seeing all those people moving well, to you? <coughs> To your music, <coughs> of course, it's um, it's an awesome, it's an amazing feeling to that, that people listen to our music and you know start moving and like like it. So yeah. and of course, I've uh, had my problems with uh, stage fright yeah. as well. But um, at this point, uh, <coughs> I'm 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 kind of You're getting over it. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, especially after this summer with all the festivals and. But you know, it's it's still there. <laughs> I mean, looking looking back, did you ever imagine it would end up where it, where you are right now? From the very beginning? Yeah. When, oh from no. When you, from no, when no. you formed the band? No. I mean, in the beginning, it was just me and Jimmy, so yeah. we weren't even a band in the beginning. So I could so never it's been imagine. A bit of an evolution. Oh yeah. Really. So I mean, there's there's certain phrases we throwing back around MySpace height, MySpace band. <coughs> Sorry, we both got coughs. <laughs> um, how do you feel about that? Do you feel that that's warranted or do you feel like it's a bit of a statement that's just thrown in there and it's not actually justified? The MySpace hype? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> no, it definitely. It partly responsible yeah. Oh, yeah, for def you definitely. Today, MySpace is a big part of the, the, the marketing or yeah. whatever uh, for a band. It's, it's where you interact with, with your, your fans. And yeah. <coughs> that's where they find you and tell, your, tell their friends Pass it on about. And yeah, exactly. The so that's MySpace is definitely. A big part of yeah. why we are where we are today. You've even got some Japan dates, right? Yeah, we, we just came back actually. We were there uh, this weekend. Um, so How it was, was that? It was my first time in Japan and it was. Uh, I can't describe it, man. It Apparently was, the fans are more grateful, so they bring you presents and just <coughs> totally well, make you feel. Good. They are so respectful in their approach and like it's like nothing else. They're so <laughs> disciplined. Uh, people yeah. and and um, you know <coughs> when you walk around in the city there yeah. are like uh, cops and guards just like, for you. like just you no no, oh. no just like stand just standing there like in yeah. the corners and every here and there just to make sure the security is is, yeah. is good uh, uh, and as well the people there were twelve <coughs> twelve thousand watching us we opened. Um, the festival on the second day, yep. and uh, <laughs> twelve thousand people just go way, and then they go when you when you completely stop, quiet. Silent. Yeah, completely silent and just like like a puppy, puppy, yeah. like a, just up and down like that. Totally it was in great. Command. Yeah. Did that did that feel good or did it feel a bit strange? It was surreal? no, it was kind of charming actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did Did you play on it a bit? So you sort of said right now up down. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. <laughs> Treat him like a pub. That would be a great thing, though. So, um, first uh, debut album released in Universal. Yeah. Do you feel that is going to add more pressure for the second album, being the first ones on a major, or are you looking forward to the challenge of the second album? Mm, well, I, I, I don't think that way. I just yeah. love writing music, and that's what I do. And uh, of course, Universal have done a great job, and hopefully, it will be them releasing our next album as well. Yeah. 
but I don't think about it that way. Yeah, you yeah. just sort of do, do my your thing to day thing. Exactly. So when it comes to playing live situation like tonight, what is the song you most enjoy playing? I have to say, "Promise Me" is one of my favorite songs, and uh, also "Losing You," the yeah. last song we played today. Um, those two are, yeah. I what, really what, like what about those songs you particularly enjoy? <coughs> I, I guess it promised me is a very personal song for me. Uh, I, write, I wrote the song all by myself and the lyrics as well. Yeah. And it feels great to see people jumping around and singing along to it. It's, it's very special for me. Yeah. And um, Losing You being in, um, kind of really DBA song. Yeah. All the DBA elements. and our, It was our first single back in Sweden. Yeah. It topped the charts there. Um, so it's, an, it's a really good song kind of to sums up you as a band yeah exactly yeah. and it's a lot of energy in losing you as well yeah. you get the, the the growls you get the you know the um, the clean vocals in the chorus and yeah. you know the the middle part just yeah just totally what you're about as yeah band. so looking at the the rest of the year are you planning on a trip coming back to <coughs> i definitely want to come back rip up De the UK again. Ho hopefully do some more headline gigs, but yeah. also um, go with the bigger bands as a support. If there was any band you could pick that you could support, what band would it be? It doesn't matter if they're still in existence yeah. or... Michael Jackson. Really? Yeah, definitely. If you could bring him back, you yeah. would. Oh, yeah, definitely. Wicked. So yeah. if you were to say when you come back to tour next year, <coughs> if there's anything you'd like to say to the fans that want to come to Sydney, what would that be? <coughs> I hope to see you there, and I hope to see you singing along with our lyrics and the melodies. Great. Awesome. It's Ian Arnold, BringTheNoiseUK.com, here with Dead by April, signing off. Take, Take care. care.